All right, so we've got the circuit for B day, our upper body day. So for this one, guys, we're gonna be doing um, a closed grip dumbbell bench press. So row, I, that was a mistake. We went over the, the barbell. It's actually gonna be a dumbbell closed grip press, all right? So what you're gonna do for this is you're gonna grab um, a set of dumbbells, okay? We're gonna come down onto the bench here. Okay, we wanna make sure, first, obviously these are light, but they get the weight up safely, so uh, have it by their sides, and pick it up, get it onto the knees here, kick their knees back so that they have assistance in getting the dumbbells up. They're gonna bring the edges of the dumbbells together, so we're in a naturally uh, closed grip position. From here, I've got legs nice and wide, so my heels are planted down, I'm feeling the floor, I've got glute engagement here, Okay, I've got a little arch in my back, so I've got space between my low back scaps are coming together. From here, I'm gonna bring it right down towards my chest, drawing my elbows close to the body. Exhale as I bring it up, inhale. So it's inhale, embrace, meaning hold. Drive it down and back up, keeping the dumbbells nice and close. As soon as they finish their rep range, bring them down, drop them, let them go. All right, for the spotter, they're just gonna stay in the same position behind them as they would if they were on the bar. And obviously we don't wanna touch the dumbbells unless they're going in any direction but up. So if, uh, if they're coming down safely, obviously, but if they're really struggling, they're starting to come down and they say, take it, just assist them in getting them off the body. We don't wanna fling them because there's gonna be other people in class, but we also don't wanna have them land on anybody's chest or shoulder. So uh, we're just assisting them to, to bring them to the side and drop them down, all right? So for the first week, you're gonna go eight reps, right? And it says it right on the dock. Um, after that, we're gonna do a standing oblique, oblique crunch with a plate. So they're gonna grab a plate We're gonna try and go for the smaller of the plates here, okay, just so that it's an easy grip. We're gonna stand with our feet. Sorry about this, guys. So you're gonna stand with your feet about hip width apart, all right? Nice soft bend in the knees here. We've got our skeletal system in a good place. So ribs are down, shoulders are back, knees are nice and soft. I'm gonna drive that plate down to my knee. So I want the bottom of the plate hitting right below the knee and then drive back up. Inhale, bring it down, release it as we go. So we're thinking my shoulder is leading down and then I'm drawing it back up, squaring them off at the top, all right? And you're gonna go for your rep range, which is gonna be 10 per side for the superset. Okay, we wanna make sure what we're watching out for is knees locking out, rib cage flaring. Okay, a lot of times people will flare the rib cage and hyperextend the back to try and get the plate down. We don't want them to do that because then we lose our abs. So make sure the ribs are down, the abs are engaged, and we're working those obliques, making a good tight rainbow shape with the side and then pulling it back up, all right? 10 per side for that. After that, we've got the uh, dumbbell incline chest press. So they're gonna be using the bench again. All right, but we're gonna make sure and bring it on an incline. So up nice and high here. So they've got, obviously not quite upright, but they've got a good high angle here, okay? This one is about one, two, three, four. It's the fifth one up. Okay, well, let's go fourth one. So on the big benches, you're gonna look at about 50 degrees, okay? Right, zero, 20, 30, 50, yeah. So what they're gonna do here, again, dumbbells are by their side on the floor, lift them up, they're nice and heavy, get them onto the knees, let the knees assist in getting them up, okay? They're gonna do neutral grip here, so palms facing out. From here, you wanna get the weights up, and now we're gonna leave from this position. So legs are wide again, We've got heels in the floor, we've got glutes going on. I'm gonna bring both dumbbells down, getting a nice deep range of motion, elbows stay at 45, and press all the way up. Inhale, hold, 
exhale as they drive, all right? And for this rep raise, they're going to, I forgot, they're going to sit. So encourage them to get fairly heavy weights. As soon as they're done, bring the dumbbells down. Drop them nice and gently, okay? They don't have to bring them gentle to the floor, but we don't want them tossing them again because they're in a class with other people. After that, you're gonna do chest supported bicep curls. So they drop the weights, they're gonna turn it around. So this is why I wanted the bench up a little bit higher so that we don't need to keep adjusting. So we're gonna to go to 50 or 65 range, depending on the person. So from there, they're gonna support, they're gonna get their chest supported with the bench here. Okay, from there, palms facing out, and we're gonna alternate sides. So we're going to uh, eight, I believe, today. So you're gonna come up for one, bring it back down. Two, bring it back down. What we don't wanna see them do, guys, is swinging and then curling. Swinging and then curling up, all right? We wanna do these bicep curls slow and controlled. Okay, they're gonna feel it hard here. And that's good, we want them to. It should be very challenging, all right? They're probably gonna need something a lot lighter than they did on the press. That's okay, let them know ahead of time and prepare them for it so they know what they're going into, all right? But make sure you're also looking at people's charts and seeing what they've done for presses in the past and gauging there, because we want them to feel challenged. It's challenged, it should be a struggle to get in those last reps, okay? So that is you're going to for eight per side, which is a good amount. So we want them having a weight in their hand. Like I have 15s here and that was that was challenging to do bicep curls from that position. So just keep in mind that you wanna encourage them to go heavy on the dumbbell press, the inclined dumbbell press, but not as heavy for the bicep curls. Station three, we've got the single arm dumbbell bear crawl rug. So gonna shift the camera a little bit. So for this guys, we're gonna get into a bear crawl position. Okay, you've got one dumbbell. This one we're going six per side. So wrist underneath the shoulders here, one hand on the bell, knees underneath the hips. I've got my fingers spread at the hand that's down. You wanna encourage them to use the palm of the hand and keep the fingertips spread so that they have good stability here. I'm gonna lift my knees up off the ground and I'm gonna row that weight, driving my elbow back behind my ribs, gently coming all the way back down. Inhale, row, exhale as we let it go. Okay, so we're trying to drive here the back part of the dumbbell towards the hips. So the, the elbow comes back behind the ribs, all right? We don't wanna encourage them to come up towards the chest. That's very challenging. So if they can't do it off the knees, they can do it on the knees. They're just gonna do the exact same thing, slowly bringing that dumbbell back down towards the floor, driving it up towards the hip, okay? So the back part of the bell comes back towards the hip. I like to say sometimes to people that aren't quite getting that down, somebody, somebody's behind you, right? You wanna elbow them. Elbow them away from you. So we wouldn't go up, right? We would bring our fist towards our chest and elbow them high. We would just elbow them, driving it right back behind the ribs. So that can be a good cue. Um, and they're gonna switch sides and do the six on the other side as soon as they're done. So we wanna encourage minimal rest from side to side. We rest when we're done. Last exercise is gonna be an internal rotation low plank. So. What we wanna encourage here, guys, is the energy that they are bringing to this plank, because they can hang out nice and relaxed in a plank, or we can really bring energy to a plank. So you're gonna come down to the floor, elbows underneath the shoulders, you're gonna turn your palms down to internally rotate those shoulders. Okay, hips are low, but they're tucked, so I've got a lot of abs. I'm gonna squeeze my quads, keeping my knees slightly soft, but squeezing the glutes here. I don't wanna lock the knees out. I want quad, but not too much. Pressing my head and neck away like there's a hot burner between my arms, and I'm gonna hold, radiating a lot of energy. You're going eight full breaths. Lower impact is just gonna be on the knees, and actually on the knees, it's gonna be able to give them a little bit more abs if they drive their knees in towards their elbows and their elbows towards their knees. Pressing the head and neck away. Full breaths. All right, and we're going like eight breaths, all right? 
And then make sure you're encouraging one minute of rest uh, between getting in the next superset. All right, if you have any questions, let me know.